Developing news now from Ottawa, where a group of representatives, Canadian thalidomide survivors, say they were belittled by Disabilities Minister Kent Hare. This was during a meeting with him in October. At a press conference today in Ottawa, the group's chair, Fiona Sampson is her name, she says that Hare later called her to apologize after they had sent a letter to the Prime Minister's office. She says the experience of meeting with him was alarming. It felt like a physical blow to, to my body, really. It, um, like we were shocked and stunned because really he is the, he's the minister responsible for persons with disabilities. He's supposed to be our champion. We went to him looking for a champion. And, you know, not only did he not step up as a champion, but he, he degraded us, he insulted us, he touched one of our members in a way that surprised us all, and that was unwelcome. The minister issuing a statement a short time ago, reading in part, my staff and I met with several representatives of this organization earlier in the fall to discuss the challenges they face. Last week, I spoke directly to the organization to apologize if my comments were misconstrued. But today was the first time I've heard about this accusation, and I'm extremely troubled by it. If there was any physical contact, it was completely accidental. And I apologize. We're going to go to Ottawa right now. Michelle Boyer following this story for us today. Mm -hmm. Michelle, this, this actually happened back in October, so why is it coming to light now? Well, this group is upset, upset with what the minister said, and they're also upset that they're not getting what Parliament voted on unanimously. Uh, we're talking about increased pensions and... Uh, and additional settlement money. Uh, and they're, all, they're particularly upset with how the minister spoke to them, how they say the minister spoke to them uh, during that face-to-face -face meeting. I want to share some other quotes uh, that the group is bringing forward uh, from that meeting. They say that Minister Kent Hare uh, said, but the discrimination you experienced today isn't as bad as what, you've ex what you experienced as kids goes on to say, lots of people have had it bad in Canada, poor people, other disabled people, uh, not just you. And then he also, the, the group says, talked about life expectancy. Take a look at how they characterize that. And he said to us, so, you probably have about 10 years left then now. That's good news for the Canadian government. So we were shocked and appalled at this. And the harm of that comment really hit home when one of our group who was in the meeting that day, approximately two weeks after that meeting, ended up in hospital in the ICU and almost died. And Leanne is not with us here today because she continues to recover from that near-death experience. So it makes Minister Hare's comments those day, that day especially repugnant. Michelle, we are hearing from that organization. What have we heard mm -hmm. from the minister in terms of his comments today? Well, we have heard a, quite a lengthy reaction to that, uh, Aaron, and he essentially goes over each of the allegations uh, in somewhat great length. Uh, he says, however, two of them, uh, two of the, the comments are being misconstrued, so we're talking about uh, the discrimination that they experienced as a kid, and also uh, lots of people have had it bad uh, in Canada, those two. Uh, but he's outright denying ever saying uh, the comment that had to do with uh, you've only have uh, 10 years left that, that's basically good for the government. So that's the latest uh, from Minister Kent Hare and his office. Uh, we do know that the Prime Minister's office was involved uh, in this because the group reached out to the Prime Minister after having that meeting uh, with the, uh, the Minister, uh, Minister Kent Hare, uh, which is what prompted the apology in the first place. But at this point, the group is saying they don't accept the apology, one, because of what he said, it was so bad, and, and also because they say they're not getting what they deserve. Michelle Boyer for us in Ottawa following this story today. Thanks for this, Michelle. Appreciate it. Thank you.